Hello guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games, and without further ado, I'm bringing you a video series that, honestly, people have been screaming at me to make for like months, if not a year, over a year and a half now, and that is how to make a mod pack, and it's proudly brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to nicksgames.com slash apex to get an awesome 24-hour server for three freaking dollars. It's amazing. Go check it out. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Now, this is a series, so this is episode one. There's going to be episode 2, I've got 6 episodes planned out right now that could grow, that could become more over time. But, the first episode is getting multi-MC set up so we can start installing mods for this mod pack, right? So we're going to build a mod pack here in this, that at the end of the series you'll be able to download. It's going to be pretty simple, but we're going to do it, and uh, I'm excited to do it. So, first off, we want to go to the second link in the description down below, which is multi-MC. And uh, this is what pretty much everybody builds their mod packs with, guys, is multi-MC. To download it, you just simply want to go to where it says download and install, and click on, well, the download button. We also want to download WinRAR, which I think is the first time I've ever done like a, a Google search in a video. But to do that, you want to go to the uh, third link in the description down below and download WinRAR here for either... 86 or 32 bit windows or 64 or 32 bit windows and uh, download one of those I already have one download I'm not gonna do that you can go do that though because uh, you, you need to for this to really work well so nevertheless go download those get those installed and you'll be good to go now multi MC once you've downloaded multi MC as you can see it's a WinRAR file that's why I told you to go download WinRAR and once you've got WinRAR downloaded this file is easy to open all you've got to do is double click on it and it opens up in a handy little on my second monitor, WinRAR, like folder thing. It's pretty cool. Now you just want to click on MultiMC in here and drag that to your desktop. It'll go through, do some things, and boom, MultiMC is on your desktop. Now I want to go ahead and delete this. Now, if you're me, you don't want a folder like this on your desktop because it's got a bunch of stuff in it. And if you delete it, MultiMC is gone forever. And that's pretty boring. So we're going to put it in a place where pretty much everything Minecraft can be put. And that's going to be this folder. Percent app data percent to get to that hit the windows key and your keyboard and R at the exact same time type in percent app data percent percent app data percent hit enter it'll take us to the roaming folder here and we just want to take the multi mc we don't have to do this and but i'm going to and drop it into uh this folder here as you can see there's multi mc then we want to go ahead and open up the multi mc folder and you'll see this this literally only thing in here called multi mc and it says application you want to right click on that and you want to uh, create a shortcut. So right click, then you want to create, is that where it's at? Create shortcut right there. Right click and create shortcut. Do that and then take this shortcut and then drag that to your desktop. Now, if you double click on this, boom, it's going to tell you to run. I don't want it to always ask. And run the file. There you go. You now have this up and running. Except we need to do two things. One, install Forge on it. And two, Select the correct Java version. So first off, the correct Java version is most likely going to be the one they have automatically selected. I'm not going to go too into this. Basically, you want it to be 64-bit Java, assuming you have a 64-bit computer. If you don't, it has to be 32-bit. I wouldn't recommend making a mod pack, though, with 32-bit Java because it's just not going to run well. It's as simple as that. But, nevertheless, 64-bit Java, which is what architecture is here, and, you know, the version doesn't really matter, but you most likely, at the time this video is recorded, are going to want video or version 1.8. If it's like a year from now, it might be 1.9. So just, you know, keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and click OK. And boom. Multi-MC launch. Can you tell? Can you tell we've even it like launched it? Did that even work? Well, it did. Now let's go ahead and add our Minecraft account. To do that, you want to click on accounts up here. And then you want to click manage accounts. And then you want to click add. And what you're going to do here is enter your Minecraft like email and password or username and password, right? So if you don't know this, then you can't do it. So you got to go get that information and then enter it here. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get that information and enter it here. I'll see you guys on the other side of a jump cut. So for continuity purposes, I went ahead and reopened up this browser tab, even though in the background, I actually have already entered my information. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? I know. Anyway, as you can see, my information is entered there and we go ahead and click OK. It'll go through, download, do some things, add the account, log in, all that stuff, and boom, there you go. Now the account is added. I'm going to click on this and then set default down here because uh, that's the Minecraft account I always want it to use. I never want there to be any issues with that, so I just go ahead and click on it and then set default to make sure that happens. But now we can just close this, 
and we're going to add Forge. To do this, very, very simple. Simply click on the new instance thing up here, right? It's like a new Word document almost. So click on that. And then once you've done that, you want to select vanilla Minecraft version. I know we're making a mod pack, but you want to select vanilla Minecraft version by clicking on the three dots here and scrolling down to 1.8. Click on that, click OK, and then click OK again. And now download all the things from Mojang to get this set up and running as vanilla 1.8. You can now click on this as soon as it's done and run vanilla 1.8 Minecraft with no mods or anything installed in it, no forge. But that's not what we wanted to do because we're making a mod pack. We definitely need to install Forge. So that's what we're going to do as soon as this is done downloading. I really don't want to jump cut here, but I might have to. Let's see if it goes one more after this. We're not going... Okay, we're good. To do this, to install Forge, I simply click on it. And then you want to come over here to where it says Edit Instance. And then you want to come down here to where it says Install Forge. Just click on Install Forge. It'll open up and load Forge versions. I would recommend installing the, you know, most recent you know, recommended version of Forge, which is going to be the one that starred and auto-selected. So click on that, click OK. It'll now install Forge on this version, and then we can go ahead and launch this to confirm Forge is working. To do that, just click on this and then click Play. It'll go through and open it up officially with Forge installed. So now we have Multi-MC running Forge. What this means is we can now make a uh, Minecraft, like, Thing. Does that make sense? A Minecraft mod pack. A mod pack for you guys. It's pretty awesome. I, I can't I can't wait to do this. I've already got a mod pack out, by the way, and you can find links to that down below. But this is so you guys can make your own mod pack. And as you can see, Forge automatically is installed with everything that comes with it. So, um, yeah, there you guys have it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you can see episode 2, which will be coming out next week. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm Nick's Games. Thanks for watching. And I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that we've got how to install Iron Chest in Minecraft 1.8. Iron Chest is an amazing mod that allows you to make chests out of iron, dull, gold, diamond, glass, all the other things in Minecraft. And they make massive chests in Minecraft. So go check it out. I hope you guys uh, enjoy that video. And down the other way... Down that way, wait, no, is it that way? Yeah, that way, we've got uh, Nick Tech, which is my very own mod pack, which so happens to include Iron Chest in it. And I'm doing a Let's Play slash tutorial hybrid merger of that mod pack, so go check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.